Let's find a team that has to move in. Yep, here's Sith Lord. Still in it, dropping in from above 150 damage. Wow, that was good. That was really good, Sith Lord. Oh, there's the Kamehameha. You've made yourself a big target, though. And you're going to get down for it. Looks like they don't want to... Oh, no. Wow. Amazing game sense. I'm actually super impressed. I would have I would have instantly been like, ooh, shiny, free kill for me. And then gotten dunked on. Finish off, finishes off the elimination. It's their build. Oh, not their build anymore. They use the Nimbus Cloud to get out of there. Now, how good's your movement, Sith Lord? They drop down. Hit the shotgun shot. 40 damage. Dropping down again. This is really fun. This is really exciting right here. Take some fall damage. Sith Lord playing really aggressive here. They've got the bandage cannon, so they're going to be able to get themselves healed up pretty quickly here. And look at that. Last Shogun, it takes out Anonymous. Now it's a 1v1. Sith Lord carrying the torch for their trio. They have been doing it for the past, like, eight minutes. They're going to rift up on out of here, and it's Last Shogun up versus Sith Lord. Drop it in from above. Sith Lord doesn't see it. Oh, they catch him out. They're forced to go into Storm. One HP. I, I don't see it happening. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. My heart skipped a beat there, but Sith Lord closes it out. Sith Lord. Maybe Zayn can capitalize on that. I don't think so, though. They're super low health. Zayn gets taken out. Well done, Stinks. Awkward. Now, even though they left their, their teammate alone, they don't go down without a fight. They drag another Austin play an Austin player with them, and Magic takes out Stinks. Now it's a 1v1. Zan versus Magic. The two kill leaders from last lobby. Zan with six, uh, Magic with six kills. Zan with four. Who's going to do it? It's the 1v1. And Magic comes out on top today with the shotgun shot. Well done, Magic. Bringing your team to two victory royales in today's matches. GG's. Well played to all the Fortnite players today. And well played and well done all the coaches for developing your, these players and their talents and their skill showing them the value of hard work thank you to all the fans tuning in today to cheer on your teams and your take some early eliminations doesn't pull it off heavy activity going on around mid though okay sage pushing the lead as she's running towards mid oh with a shotgun and doesn't doesn't clear to the right as we just saw and gets taken out Defenders, though, do pull it off Defenders and are able to take out the Madison player as Lone Tree takes the 13th match. He keeps it in. Jab, jab, dribbling in his own half. Takes the back boost. Avoids one. Under. Oh. <laughs> and doesn't actually touch the ball. I mean, he, he just let that ball float the entire way. He touches it all the way back in his own half. And kind of just follows it, follows it. I'm not going to. Oh, and he bumps Maxi out of the bump way. Bump in the end. That's in. what it is. All right. Oh, man. Gosh. Hate to see it, but Valkyrie are playing well. Journey is falling. And Swifty both falling to the Sage player. Peeking one at a time. No team play coming out there. Not good. Now Salix going for the shots on Chamber. Not able to find anything. So we're left with Ghost and Rosfuse over here on B mid. The only thing they've got going for them is Nightmare Wolf, but there's a trick on the other side. I think they know about it. 
house worth of silver here from stashes? Okay, welcome back, everybody. It is I, uh, Coach Julian, here for XP League, commentating some awesome Fortnite matches here today. We've got uh, Silver Group B, so we'll be streaming all of Group B's matches this week. Last week, we, screen we streamed at Group A. This week, we're streaming Group B. And here we are with uh, North Austin. We've got North Austin with Nerd Puppy God and Dark Cat as they're hanging out over in... What's this POI called? This one is... Let's see. Trying to figure out where we are here. Oh, we're on the kind of the west side of the reality tree. Cool, cool. So Nerd Puppy God making their way through, rotating in and out. Very nice, very nice. Nerd Puppy got a strong player for sure. And look at this Augusta Gnome. Looks like they've had... Some issues here. They've gotten into some trouble. Some fighting has started already for the Augusta Gnome. So I'm going to stick it here with uh, Gnome number nine and see uh, if they're out of trouble, out of dodge, or if they're still fighting off uh, any any other attackers. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize how high my gain was. Just turned it down there a bit. They are making their way towards the rave cave, bouncing in and out. Nice movement. Lots of oh, lots of other players in the area. Oh, there we go. They're running to somebody. They've got the grenade in their hands. They don't want the fight. They just want to run out of there. And they get their witch, and they're going to be able to escape out of there. Nice little tense situation, but they're but they're smart and they're able to get out of it. And there we are. There's that new chapter four mechanic, the Chrome. So what we're going to be seeing today is we're going to see a link, seeing some interesting uses of Chrome uh, from our players. Chrome is an uh, is a interesting mechanic that lets you move like that for one thing, which makes you kind of hard to hit. But what else is interesting about Chrome is that if you make yourself Chrome like this, you can actually phase through walls. So if the enemy has built you into a box, you can phase out of your own box to escape. Or if you're really crazy, you can phase into an enemy box uh, to, to get really, really aggressive and start fighting them. It's not a great technique, though, because you're not invincible while you're phasing through a wall, and there's a lot of lag when you're doing it. So it makes you pretty vulnerable to get, shot, to get shot while you're doing it. But maybe they can catch somebody by surprise uh, with some Chrome action like that. Other things that Chrome can do is it can reinforce your builds. So if you're in a one-by-one, one, if you make a box... You can throw some chrome splash down and uh, it'll make uh, make your box chrome and make it a little stronger. You can also, uh, there's also chrome weapons. And uh, chrome weapons have the ability to level up as they deal damage. So the more damage is done with chrome weapons, the, w the better those weapons will be. And in Apex, they're kind of like Evo shields, where they the more damage they take, the better shields they are. But in this case, get their, uh, their weapons upgraded. I think there's one other thing. Yes, other big things uh, that are happening in this update are there are uh, big, big nerfs and buffs. Uh, massive nerfs to the shotguns. Well, I don't know about naps is uh, massive, but they are pretty big nerfs. Uh, some of these shotguns, shotgun metas that we've uh, been used to and the SMG meta that we've been used to uh, may not be sticking around for too much longer as shotguns have been nerfed pretty hard and the snipers have gotten a pretty sizable buff a lot of the snipers now can actually one shot even through uh overshield all right here we are with a new set of t with a new team e money knocks out yt koenig trade not gets the knock on a money world i think those players are actually close by let me see if i can catch them Yep, there they are. Uh, Wet Watermelon, Zack Boy, and Money World. Looks like Zack Boy and Money World are able to come out on top of that engagement and get the res onto their buddy here, Money World. Well done, Wet Watermelon. North OC 
gets the elimination on onto Augusta Gnome Nine. Okay, let's take a look at where the storm uh, is, is trying to go here. All right, so we've got the storm making its way towards the north uh, northwest here. Lots of ice biomes. It'll be interesting. Maybe some water play, some mountains. We have a we have a lot of potential for like interesting environments in our final circles between playing over water, playing over lots of different elevations with the mountain sides here over here. So that'll be fun to see uh, during some of these final final uh, um, circles. Here we go, Barabo Fragons. <laughs> Man, I love Barabo Fragons username. It's, it's really just really just really fun to say. CNH PC Gamer 4 and Hoylanner? Hoylanner? Hoyl? Hoylanner. And anyways, they're making their way through Tilted Towers. They're trying to get into zone, into circle. They're looted up pretty nicely here. Maybe not as materials as they'd like, but honestly, they're they're still doing they're still looking pretty good here. Wait, does the pizza box make play music when they're <laughs> when they're holding it? That's fantastic. Uh, we got Pez Head, Only Alien Three, and an anonymous player also in the rave cave. With so many players here inside the rave cave, surprised we didn't get more action here. Here we go. We've got Camden, Ryzen, and Charizard. They are boxed up here on a nice high ground position. I like this position a lot, actually. Really nice high ground. Pretty defensible. And they're right on the edge of circle. As long as the circle is nice to them and isn't too far, is it doesn't force them to rotate too hard, they're pretty nicely set up here. I don't think they have enough ammunition, though. Looking at that 42 bullets in that rifle doesn't fill me with confidence that they'll be able to... Uh, uh, kind of depress from up here because if you're going to take high ground one of the things you really need is you need a lot of materials and you need a lot of ammunition because you're not going to be going back down to get those refreshes and so you need to have your resources and your materials ready to go they do have these a lot of weapons just kind of sitting out here so i don't know maybe maybe one of the other players has lots of ammunition maybe there's someone holding for them Anonymous takes out Zack Boy. Caden plays, finishes it off with a shotgun. Caden plays, get into the action. Up against Wet Watermelon. There we go, some long range fire going on here. And they're just shooting the firework gun? I can't imagine that's going to be super effective from range. But there they are. Look at that high ground positioning. Just able to shoot down here really freely. And look how far they have to go to get to cover. I mean, that's just so far. Barabo Fragons overshoots it. Isn't able to pick up their teammate. I don't know if they meant to get out of their car. I'm keeping it here. Mostly because I want to see if they're actually going to be able to get out of here. Looks like a bit of a panic rotation here where... You know, they all ran one way out in the open for a long time, and then suddenly they're going to double back now and run the other way it's still in the open. Uh, and for it, PC, for, uh, PC Gamer 4 will go down. They've still got an opportunity in this. They've got a vehicles right next to them. They can rotate out of here pretty easily. Nice. They're, they're able to pick up a chrome shotgun. You know, I can't say I like the chrome shotgun personally. You know, I was playing around with it, and I was just getting lots of 20s. Maybe maybe I just need to get good. Um, but I, I had trouble making it work. I felt like it was a lot of work to try and get it to, to level up with the, with the Evos, with the, with the Chrome like evolutions. But I'm sure somebody in this lobby is going to make it work. Rainbow Dash gets the elimination on Horizon. Caden gets it on Camden. North OC gets the knock on AJD. And nicely done by E Money here with the slide into the shotgun shot. Very slick moves here from E Money and North OC. Whoa, they even made their their wolf chrome. Lots of aggressive plays out of North, out of North OC here, and Camden plays. I'm gonna want to have to check out that leaderboard in round two. 
just see how many kills, how many eliminations Camden has gotten so far. Because, man, I am seeing their name in the kill feed a lot. All right, E-Money spots their next prey. North OC, they're going to call it out. They're going to try and go for this third party. They want the opening first, though. Someone's rifting in from behind. Looks like this is a popular spot. Everyone's trying to get into zone. Rainbow Dash gets the snipe on a big pop-up from 100 meters. Nicely done. North OC gets the knock on. And Caden plays. Gets the knock on Gaming Tiger. Rainbow Dash falls his up and finishes it off. North OC 7 goes down. Looks like E-Money and North OC 1 are going to be alone in this fight here. As there's probably two other squads here. And look at that. Making use of the... Really going for, for the, the, sh the, the sniper... Even at this range. Nice little shot right there. You see what I mean? Like there, that was like that was 40 damage. Like, what was that? The shotguns have been nerfed. Like that should have been like way bigger damage. Whoa! Oh my god! They tried to snipe from way what a, what, a, what a crazy move. E money tries to go for the 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 point blank note like quick scope. Uh doesn't work out for them. But they can, uh, North OC can stand proud for sure, having played really well, getting lots of eliminations. Al the only Alien and Penheads and Anonymous doing really well here. Looks like it's going to be in Log Jam. We're going to get a lot of water in our final circles here. Pezhead finishes off OC1. Here we are with Brookfield. With a nice <laughs> coordinated theme here. Of nature skins oh no the gas the tragedy of the gas station it all goes wrong the gas station blows up and takes out two members of Brookfield and everyone is just laying into the vehicle here North Austin did good job to pick that up They've got their whole team up here and they've got now oh, nice a nice refresh of ammunition. So much ammunition. They're totally set. They are set for this end game. Thirteen gamers remaining inside this lobby. Thirteen gamers in this circle. Let's take stock of who's who and who's in. All right, North Austin has their full trio up here. Uh, Pez had only Alien and Anonymous has their full trio doing a little bush checking. And then, so we got two full trios. That's six. Then we've got J-Bone, Shark, and Team Reese. It looks like they've got their full trio up as well. So that's nine. So that's three trios. Maybe not for long, though. It's only aliens taking quite a bit of damage here. Getting stuck in the door, in the door frame. Oh, got to watch out for those shotgun, for those sniper shots. And they're not going to let them build up. They keep burning it down. Rainbow Dash gets the knock on the Anonymous. Surprised nobody's pushing on them right now. Here we go. We've got a close up build battle. We've got Team Reese, J Bone, and Shark. Who are they fighting now? Here on the edge of Log Jam. Lots of flares going up, catching the buildings, catching the builds on fire. Looks like Team Reese 2020 is waiting out here, right in front of the doorway, maybe trying to get surprise shot off. J Bone goes down. Should be able to get that res though. Only Alien gets knocked to uh, re-Rainbow Dash. Where's the rest of their team in this? They got knocked right at the edge of zone. It's going to be hard for them to... You know, it's going to take them a while to push in. They do get the get rezzed. They're going to enjoy themselves some... What looks like mushroom combination pizza. Get some heals back. Eleven players in this lobby. Only one elimination in the last minute and a half or so well, slow gameplay looks like until we get some we're not going to see any real action until we have this storm start shrinking 
Yep, storm shrinking now. So now we're gonna see teams be forced to start fighting again. They're gonna have to leave their positions. Whoever's shooting from center zone has the advantage here. I think it's North Austin. Yeah, North Austin has the advantage here. They're able to shoot in, gets the knock. It looks like a couple trios are all kind of scrambling to push in. North Austin's got to be happy about this one. They've got full sight lines on everyone that's rotating in. Dark Hat's feeling like, hey, I had that shot. Caden plays, still in it, going nuts. Three shots on it here, lots of damage. Enemy behind the tree, they got to they got to shift their attention. <laughs> Uses the log to break the build. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that was awesome. Nerd Puppy God goes down. They're going to go for the res. I think that's ambitious. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to let you get this res off, Dark Cat. All right, and Dark Cat is now a solo. Let's take stock here. We've got a full trio here with Pez Head, only Alien, and Anonymous. And then we've got another full trio. No, it's the same trio. And then we've got another full trio with Kaden Plays, R River Rainbow Dash, and Anonymous. And, oh, man, I think my money's on these guys. These guys are these guys are playing really well. They're, they've been lighting up the kill feed all lobby. They really know how to play aggressive as a team. And they are putting on the pressure here for sure as the enemy tries to rotate into zone. Not able to get in. Gets it. Finishes off Pez head. There may only be just a few more. Now it's just a full trio and let's see who is the... It's Dark Cat versus the world here. Yep. Triple shotguns come out to finish the job. Well played, Nerd Puppy God and North uh, Nerd Puppy God getting to second place with your with your trio, and well played, uh, Rainbow Dash, Anonymous, and Caden plays get in the dub here in round one of Silver Group B. Well played, everybody. Well played, GGs, GGs. We'll be back with round two of Fortnite Group B Silver in just a few minutes. So keep it right here. We'll be right back with more Fortnite action. <laughs> I'm the coach for XP League and I'm looking forward to having an impact on these kids' lives. I've been playing video games competitively since ninth grade. I'm now 21 years old and I've never really got to be a part of a team. Today you guys are here for tryouts. Now you might be feeling nervous, but don't worry. Everybody makes a team. Tryouts is not about picking you out if you're not good at the game. The only thing this is about is about measuring where you are at right now. So we can focus on how we can help you improve throughout the season. Uh, Esports promotes cognition in the sense that there's multiple ways to win a game. There's not one set way that you can win a match. The meta in Overwatch it varies. Uh, it depends on the game. The games change all the time, and every game is different. It has its own special, unique characteristics. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep your hands, keep your hands straight. Keep your hands straight. For our practices, we aren't focused necessarily on who we're playing against just how we can uh, adapt our strategy towards the game. What we teach the kids when we're coaching is that there's another human being on the other side of that computer and to treat everyone with respect. Again, I have my ultimate. Perfect, keep going, keep going.
Let's find a team that has to move in. Yep, here's Sith Lord. Still in it, dropping in from above. Standing. Still in sight. Down to you. He keeps it in. Dab dab dribbling in his own half. Gets the back boost. Avoids one. Under. Oh. <laughs> and doesn't actually touch the ball. I mean, he, d he just let that ball float the entire way. He touches it all the way back in his own half. And kind of just follows it, follows it. I'm not... Gonna, and oh, and he bumps Maxi out of the way. Bump in the end. In. That's what it is. All right. Oh. Finish off, finishes off the elimination. It's their build. Oh, not their build anymore. They use the Nimbus Cloud to get out of there. Now, how good's your movement, Sith Lord? They drop down with the shotgun shot. 40 damage. Dropping down again. This is really fun. This is really exciting right here. Take some fall damage. Sith Lord playing really aggressive here. They've got the bandage cannon, so they're going to be able to get themselves healed up pretty quickly here. And look at that. Last Shogun, it takes out Anonymous. Now it's a 1v1. Sith Lord carrying the torch for their trio. They have been doing it for the past, like, eight minutes. They're going to rift up on out of here, and it's Last Shogun up versus Sith Lord. Drop it in from above. Sith Lord doesn't see it. Oh, they catch him out. They're forced to go into Storm. One HP. I, I don't see it happening. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. My heart skipped a beat there, but Sith Lord closes it out. Sith Lord. Let's find a team that has to move in. Yep, here's Sith Lord. Still in it, dropping in from above 150 damage. Wow, that was good. That was really good, Sith Lord. Gosh, hate to see it, but you know, Valkyrie are playing well. Journey falling, and Swifty both falling to this Sage player, peaking one at a time. No team play coming out there. Not good. Now Salix going for the shots on Chamber, not able to find anything. So we're left with Ghost Crosby's over here on B main. At the only thing they've got going for them is not known, but there's a trick on the other side. I think they know about it. Alcworth are just over here kind of stacking. Oh, there's the Kamehameha. You've made yourself a big target, though. And you're going to get down for it. Looks like they don't want to. Oh, no. Wow. Amazing game sense. I'm actually super impressed. I would have I would have instantly been like, ooh, shiny, free kill for me. And then gotten dunked on fall damage. But they can be happy. They can be really happy, really satisfied knowing that they played an amazing game. So well played, Lone Tree. Well played indeed. You did, you did fantastic getting it, getting this far, especially as a solo. So your team should definitely be proud, be happy of of how they did today. And here we've got Anonymous Kitten plays and the last member of the Rainbow Dash squad. And they're stuck here on this Nimbus Cloud. They're going to have to do a little bit of... Oh my god, beautiful movement on the Nimbus, avoiding lots of damage. They try to duck down under the deck, but a little bit of awkward hitboxes stops them from getting through the door, and Jimmy is able to take advantage of it and get the last shotgun shot for the win. Well played, Jimmy. Magic sucks. And Austin, Austin taking the W, getting the victory royale here in round two of Group B Silver. All right, well played, well played. Up next, maybe Zan can capitalize on that. I don't think so, though. They're super low health. Zane gets taken out. Well done, Stinks. Awkward. Now, even though they left their, their teammate alone, they don't go down without a fight. Drag another Austin play, an Austin player with them. And Magic takes out Stinks. Now it's a 1v1. Zan versus Magic. The two kill leaders from last lobby. Zan with six. Uh, Magic with six kills. Zan with four. Who's going to do it? It's the 1v1. And Magic comes out on top today with the shotgun shot. Well done, Magic. Bringing your team to two victory royales in today's matches.
GG's well played to all the Fortnite players today and well played and well done to all the coaches for developing your, these players and their talents and their skill, showing them the value of hard work. Thank you to all the fans tuning in today to cheer on your. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Here we are. Uh, round two has just started. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and check out uh, the results from round one. Over here, we had uh, in first place, we had uh, Rainbow Dash, Caden plays an NK Ninja with 5, 10, and 19 kills in first place. Oh my god, what in the world is going on here? Second place, Nerd Puppy God, North Austin 3, Dark Cat with 3 kills total. Third place, Only Alien, OP West, and Pez Head with 7, 8 kills. In fourth place, you have Shark, Team Reese 2020, and uh, Jambone 9mm with 5 kills total. Fifth place, you've got uh, Brookfield 06, Todd MDK, and Emperor Gamer 25. Sixth place, we've got uh, North OC 7 and 1, and E Money with uh, eight kills total. In seventh place, we've got Fly Perfect Gaming Tiger and Big Papa Fortnite uh, with no kills. In eighth place, we've got a trio uh, Barebo Fragons, uh, Hoy Liner, and CNHPC Gamer 4. In ninth place, we've got a duo AGD Games and Gills with one kill. Tenth place, we've got Ryzen Camden and charizard with two kills 11th place we've got false church six she she oh my god with that voice crack uh <laughs> and one with one kill in 12th place we've got zach boy wet watermelon the money world with three kills in 13th place we've got sonic yt koenig and uh, augusta gnome nine in 14th place we've got a duo cartena and trey with one kill and then 15th place we have User, Zev Sharky, Wolfie Girl. 16th place, Wild Crowd, YouTube Mavericks, and Merc Fossa. 17th place, Killer Boss, HS Ninja, Connor Pirate. 18th, we got PC Ackworth, Crystal, and then the Observers. Well played to all the teams. Well played to all the teams. Let's go ahead and jump into round two. All right, let me hold, rearrange some stuff on my screen. There we go. All set. All ready to go. Here we are with AGD Games and Gills hanging out over in Cloudy Condos. We started the lobby off with 52 players. We're down to 39 already. Here we are with Shark, J-Bone, and Team Reese. Trying to get away from the storm. We're going to be looking for some mobility options here. Team Reese and J-Bone already taking some storm damage. Looks like they all want to group up, get the, get the chrome. That way they can turn into the little blobby and make their way on the route on the map much faster. Anonymous, Aqua 3, and Crystal stuck in the storm. Can they make it out in time? They are pretty far. That's going to be rough. Maybe with the power of pizza, they can make it through. Oh, yeah, they're totally fine. I mean, look at all that delicious pizza. AGD Games knocking out Sir Lego, Sir Lego, Sir Lego 5032. Let me jump back to AGD Games if it'll let me. All right, looks like they're out of my radius. But Wet Watermill and Rainbow Dash already starting their destruction. Going absolutely off right now. What squad is that? Who Who is Rainbow Dash? Those are the Lone Tree Eagles. Wow, those guys are nuts. A well-played Lone Tree Eagles. Here you are with Nerd Puppy God, Nerd Austin 6, Dark Cat. Back with Shark, Team Reese. Ackworth found their way through the storm, back to safety. Looks like this is all we're going to get in our radius. If you're wondering why I can't jump to your specific player or for to any player uh, out of this region, the reason is because the way the Fortnite uh, spectator works is I have a certain radius that I can jump to. Any other players in that radius, I can jump to them. If they're not in that radius, unfortunately, I won't be able to jump to them. We're a fly prefect. 
their buddies gaming tiger and big papa fortnite no not big papa fortnite i have gone down oh i love this skin it's a little like little bear piloting a blobby dude that's sick and very adorable and here they are they're just hot footing it towards zone making their way through this world this little teddy bear and a chrome wolf. Here are with Charizard, Camden, and Ryzen. I think they got about, I think they got 10th place last round, but they actually get, did pretty well with kills. Charizard getting two kills for himself. So this could be a team that could make it even farther this way, this round. Some gunshots. Over yonder, just ahead of Charizard. Caden plays, gets the elimination on Fly Prefect. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be out of my scope of vision here, but B37 Warrior. Oh, I saw B37 in the chat earlier. B37 picks up an elimination. Congrats, B37. B37. Is that a reference to a plane? Wild Crowd gets the knock on a North OC. North OC gets the knock back on a wild crowd. That's funny. They both knock each other. But it looks like North OC is coming out on top of this. It looks like they're finishing out those eliminations. Wet Watermelon gets a knock with a sniper. Here we go with Brookfield, Emperor Gamer, Anonymous hanging out over here. Just, uh, where is this? This is right directly in the center of zone. Augusta Gnome with a nice little knock on a Sir Lego. I thought Sir Lego got killed already. It must have gotten uh, rebooted. <laughs> it looks like they're having a little bit of trouble with the, with the, the big birthday gift here. The big present. Wolfie Girl gets rebooted. Sir Lego gets knocked. I feel like I've seen Sir Lego get eliminated three times already. Anonymous gets the knock on a crystal. And Money World finishes it off. Oh, here we go. Here's some action. I guess the gnome nine. YT Koenig. They've got a buddy. Who is out. Maybe they have the reboot card. They might be able to get that back in, but they've got some nice loot here. The legendary pump. The legendary SMG. Oh, big good find there. Able to big up the big shield pot. Brookfield getting some kills in here. Lots of fighting happening all at once here. As Brookfield picks up some nice kills here. There's gonna be some good points for them for sure. Come on, group. Get around the corner. And then they are. They're able to get their buddy Goot up. I like the nature theme here. Very fun. Very cool. All right. Here we are with Gusta Gnome 9. The last surviving member of the gnomes. A sniper battle and Gnome 9... Does not come out on top, but maybe next time they will. Well played, gnomes. Well played, gnomes. We'll see you guys on the island next time. Wet Watermelon has a beautiful shot here. Just pure open season there. So it's pretty far to hit that shot, so it's going to be a little tough. You know, any, any movement is going to throw off their aim. They're essentially just having to bet on, uh, on these shots. Oh, look at that. They were able to get their, uh, they were able to get their Evo Chrome assault rifle to legendary. So they must've done a lot of damage already just with that Chrome rifle. Here are with Gills playing as a solo right now.
Rainbow Dash. Caden plays, getting the shotgun shot off. Here we are with our kill leaders from last lobby. And when I say kill leaders, I really mean kill leaders. These people went absolutely insane last round. Let's hang out with them. See what else. See what else they can do. Oh, uh, they, they catch somebody unaware there. Didn't even have their gun out. Looks like they were trying to go for some heals. And they get the sh and they get some easy assault rifle shots off on them and take them out. Ryzen takes out Dark Cat. Oh, there we are. See, they use the uh, they use the chrome to get out of their build. Ryzen with the with the shotgun shot onto North Austin takes out one of them. Oh, it looks like they've been found out. North OC is about to be found out here. Just a matter of time. And here he comes. Nice. They take out Rainbow Dash. They've got the advantage here. Take out Kaden. Nicely played, North OC. Taking out the raid boss from last round. North OC. Well done, well done. They stayed together. They played it patient. Well done, well done. And there's gunfire on the outside. Well done, North OC. Look forward to seeing you guys later in the match. Here we are with Ka Warrior, Wolfie Girl, and User. Lots of uh, lots of people running through right now. Looks like Ka Warrior and their trio are prioritizing getting into zone and getting a good position. A little bit of, of mouse movement there, getting some good shots there. They've got to be pretty low here. Oh, their buddy's here to back them up. Can you help? Can you do? Can you push through though, Ka Warrior? Yes, you can, especially with the help of your friends. Well done, Ka Warrior. North OC gets the knock on Charizard with a pretty good sniper shot. North OC won. Oh my goodness, taking out tons of people back to back real quick. North OC really turning it on this match. Oh. Sorry, you peek out of the, you're peeking out of the bushes there, buddy. You can't hide there. Your 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 skin's too tall. Shark picking up a nice 2k right there. You may think you're safe in the in the truck, buddy, but <laughs> I don't think you are. Look at this. In this this area is so open. There's not a lot of cover here, so people are just taking shots left and right. You can really see the sniper buffs coming into a, a effect here. Nerd Puppy God playing as a solo here. Taking the long way ro to rotate into zone. Man, they gotta be they gotta be pretty scared here. This is a scary situation if you're uh if you're a solo in a lobby like this. Eleven players left. I should be able to see all the players now at this point. So let's take stock. We've got uh, North Austin with a solo player. We've got Brookfield with a solo. And we've got North OC with their full trio. Then we got Wolfie Girl, Ka Warrior, and User with their full trio. So that's six. And then I think three others, three solos. So two duos, three solos, nine players. Who else is left in here? Then we've got a duo with Shark and J-Bone. All right. So... You know, with a con with a configuration like that, the solos still definitely have a chance here, if they can uh, make sure to engage while the other trios or duos are fighting each other. User takes out Brookfield, so Brookfield, one of the solos, gets taken out. Nerd puppy god looking for an opening, taking some shots. Oh my goodness! Nice snipe from North OC. Takes out Nerd Puppy God. North Austin will go out. And the 10th position here. I think they'll get 
fourth, maybe fifth place for their for their team as a whole. And the sniper battles begin. B37 gets tagged here. Lucky for them, nothing too damaging, nothing too too bad. But they can't just focus on their snipe off. Other teams are hungry for some action as well, and they are getting pushed in on. That's B37 fighting for their life inside the box. They were able to get some good tags on to B37 before they pushed in. So B37 is a little bit on the back foot here. The North OC know how to play this. Not their first time doing a box fight. Oh, uh, they drop down into the water. Good, good. Rotate out of there. Let's check in with Kawarrior and Wolfie Girl. Oh yeah, this is a strong position for them. And oh my, look at all that ammunition. Wolfie Girl gets knocked. And Wolfie Girl gets taken out. B37 finds him. B37 playing real strong here. A full trio, and they've got I mean they've got the high ground, so they're able to just shoot. Take out lots of shots, lots of damage here. Oh, that's an opportunity. That's a big opportunity. Oh, nice. Gets the knock on a Team Reese. Are they going to push in on that? Okay, they're going to share some ammunition here. Then they're going to push in. No, somebody's built onto them. They've taken the high ground. The Warriors going to do their best to, to keep the high ground advantage and build higher. Seems like they've lost them now. They're wondering, where did they go? Where did they go? Jump around a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. Shark, Team Reese, J Bone, all still up. Playing a lot lower here. User and Kawarrior all the way at the very top. And B37 tried to push in onto North OC here, but gets taken out. Well done, North OC. Well done. But now with the high ground advantage. They're going to make full full use of it as user gets eliminated as shark gets eliminated in the storm and some oh no very nicely done here from co warrior wolfie girl and user getting the victory royale here in round two courtesy of their amazing positioning well done well done jimmy uh, in the chat asked, will gold be, be streamed? I'm glad you asked that question because stick it right, keep it right here at twitch.tv slash XP league, because we will be right back in just a few minutes with uh group B gold. We'll be streaming the gold matches next. Congrats to all the players here in silver group B. We're moving on to uh gold group B. So we'll be right back with more Fortnite action. I was very interested in seeing what the uh, four original teams uh, that had played in the Summer League uh, as a pilot had done. I knew right away that I wanted to get involved after I saw their streams on on Twitch. I like the, the culture and the aspect of it. It's like uh, youth sports for kids that don't play traditional sports, right? I was looking for some way to give them the environment where they could really feel like they're making the last shot of the game, right? So they're 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 actually getting that feeling that that maybe kids that are more into team sports are, are naturally feeling. And that is a shutout for the PB Magic. Round one. And then all the tools that are given to you within XP League, we thought it's something that it's an experience we could give to the kids that that they've never seen before and something I dreamed about as a kid being able to to watch my my games online uh, seeing how excited they are to come in for practice and matches 
um, seeing them grow together as a team, uh, the different teams, that, that's that's what I really love about it. Marvel's Gold, you guys will be this Saturday at 2 p.m. Remember, guys Seeing the, the naturally shy kids um, and seeing how they, you know, start coming out of their shell and all the way, you know, fast forward to towards the end of a season, they've gained the confidence and they're actually taking like a leadership role. That, that's been really cool to see. Being able to compete with friends in video games, wear a jersey, being able to tell your friends and family, hey, go on Twitch and watch me compete just like the professionals do. Uh, being able to give the kids that experience and seeing their face every time when they do that is just second to none. And right here tonight, we have our Hanover Horde gold team taking on our Hanover Heroes gold team to move into the finals of the gold division of this Overwatch season. We had just, all the parents in the lobby sitting together watching the stream on the big screen. Um, and they were critiquing their kids and screaming and, and cheering. They knew exactly what was going on in the matches. They knew who had the advantage, who had the numbers advantage, who had the best comp to counter the other comps. Uh, Pizza Freak unleashes his ultimate, doesn't find anybody home. Zarya just been putting in look work that, all day. That big send there from our junk rat was the, was the semifinals of the Constellation Bracket in the silver. Our first, you know, first, first ever time playing Overwatch. We are in the semifinals. We had both of our teams playing another team. One team in one room, one team in the other. They both won the semifinal match at the exact same time, literally at the exact same and time. Can you say that final? Is Magic! I'm seeing uh, Coach Rob in one room pump his fist in the air. I'm hearing the other kids in the other room scream at the same time. They both come out to tell the other team that they won, and they come to find out at that very moment that they're facing each other in the finals. It was the most amazing thing. And I've been a coach and I've played sports my whole life, but that was probably one of the most amazing moments that, that I've ever been able to be a part of. And I'm hearing a lot of good things in the, in the Dragon's room. We may have a Magic Dragon Palace for these finals. It doesn't always start all roses. There's thorns along the way, and you grow from those moments when uh, you're losing. You lose as a team, and you, you learn and grow together. I think our secret sauce in XP League is the Positive Coaching Alliance partnership, the focus on teamwork and sportsmanship uh, that we bring to it. You know, it's not just kids coming to play video games. It's kids coming together as teams. Playing alone and doing okay on your own, especially on Fortnite, to switching it to, okay, it is a team. You know, what's best for the team? It's the connections that they're building. It's you know the, the relationships that they're building with their with their teammates and, and the coaches, and that's really where the, the value is in, in in giving them the team sport experience. Being able to give the kids a, an experience like if they're a professional gamer, no other youth sports can give that. I, don't think they know. I, don't think they know. I can't watch my son live playing you know playing little league baseball with commentators or in the same type of jersey that mike trout does using the same bat the same cleats the same you know baseball stadium it's about going on to the regionals and the nationals and that is an amazing opportunity for these kids and i, I think that's going to really help propel us into this next year of, of growth and expansion you know it's the little league World Series.
make a difference here. Last player standing. Ceiling sight. Down to you. He keeps it in. Jab stab dribbling in his own half. Gets the back boost. Avoids one. Under. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> doesn't actually touch the ball. I mean, Baking. he did. He just let that ball float the entire way. He touches it all the way back in his own half and kind of just follows it, follows it. I'm not going to. Oh, and he oh, bumps Maxi out of the way. Bump in the end. In. That's what it is. All right. Oh. Finish off, finishes off the elimination. It's their build. Oh, not their build anymore. They use the Nimbus Cloud to get out of there. Now, how good's your movement, Sith Lord? They drop down with the shotgun shot. 40 damage. Dropping down again. This is really fun. This is really exciting right here. Take some fall damage. Sith Lord playing really aggressive here. They've got the bandage cannon, so they're going to be able to get themselves healed up pretty quickly here. And look at that. Last shotgun it takes out Anonymous. Now it's a 1v1. Sith Lord carrying the torch for their trio. They have been doing it for the past, like, eight minutes. They're going to rift up on out of here, and it's last shogun up versus Sith Lord. Drop it in from above. Sith Lord doesn't see it. Oh, they catch him out. They're forced to go into Storm. One HP. I, I don't see it happening. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, my heart skipped a beat there, but Sith Lord closes it out. Sith Lord. Let's find a team that has to move in. Yep, here's Sith Lord. Still in it. Dropping in from above. 150 damage. Wow, that was good. That was really good, Sith Lord. Gosh. Hate to see it, but Valkyrie are playing well. Journey falling, and Swifty both falling to this Sage player, peeking one at a time. No team play coming out there. Not good. Now Salix going for the shots on Chamber, not able to find anything. So we're left with Ghost Frosties over here on B main. At the only thing they've got going for them is not known, but there's a trick on the other side. I think they know about it. Alcworth are just over here kind of stacking. Oh, there's the Kamehameha. You've made yourself a big target, though. And you're going to get down for it. Looks like they don't want to... Oh, no. Wow. Amazing game sense. I'm actually super impressed. I would have I would have instantly been like, ooh, shiny, free kill for me. And then gotten dunked on. Fall damage. But... Oh, as soon as we come in, immediately, the team I was spectating gets knocked out. Well done, v VL Cooper. Taking him out. Here we are with Dark Shadow, uh, VL Cooper, and Anonymous. Doing pretty well out here. You <laughs> using the balloons? Looks like the balloons are popular here. Here we are with Anonymous, Awkward's Benji the Fragger. Over here at Synapse. And just just starting looks like they just started getting their loot. CNH Gamer 19. Looks like they, their buddy A Switch got downed. But luckily for them, they were able to make their way over to the reboot van and get their buddy back up. Clicks gets eliminated by Pancake Ninja. And nicely done. Hanover gets the reboot onto their teammate, getting them back in the running. Awkward's Benji Anonymous balloon up here at Synapse. Zane, North Austin 1, and Mei Mei making use of the vaults. And this should be big, big loot for North Austin. Bash gets the knocks on Aranto. Peaches takes out Avericks. Bash takes out YXE. Ranto finishes him off. And look at all this loot. Oh, yeah. This is Christmas right here. This is Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. All the gift holidays wrapped up in one here with the big vault. North Austin 
already kitted out pretty early on in this match. Snipe Z, Easton, Pancake Ninja making their way through. A little southwest of Reality Falls. Got a neat little rotate here. Do they spot another player? Is that what I'm saying? No, no, they're just they're just they're just getting their materials. They're just farming up. Here we are back with Austin, making their way out of the lagoon. Ooh, lagoon. And they're making their rotate into zone. Stinks gets the knocks on the killer. Hashtag gets the knock on false shirt seven. Stinks finishes off inside. Gets the knock on inside. Must be one of their te another teammate. And here we are with anonymous. But their two buddies are down. Clicks and T vlogs. Hashtag eliminates false shirt seven and Stinks. So Stinks is down. Stinks a very strong player. Anonymous makes themselves known. Nice shotgun shot, but it's not going to be enough. Snipe Z, Easton, and Pancake Ninja pick up another point with 21 players left in this lobby. They're going to have to make their way into zone pretty soon. They've only got about a minute until the storm starts shrinking. That's actually already shrinking. They got to they gotta get on the move. Looks like Hanover PC19 gets it picks up a kill. And Superstar, are they playing as a solo? Or is that my UI not working? I think they're playing as a solo. A Switch and PC Gamer 19 doing pretty good work out here. But unfortunately, Ash tag it inside, finish them off. Maybe all we get here. But we may as well hang out with some players we haven't seen before. Here we are with Bash, Tree Coco, and Peaches. Looks like they're making their way into the vault. Oh, there's another player on the other side of it. And it all pops off. You know, they tried to stay safe in here as far as long as they could, but you know, there's only so much they can do. Eventually they're gonna get smoked out. Uh, Evanik, this is Gold Group B. Let me go ahead and finish updating this graphic. There you go. Bash! Really quick with it. Gets the knock. But awkward. Beautifully placed shotgun shot. Able to seal the deal. Benji the Fragger, awkward and anonymous. Still in it with 14 players left. I mean, good chunk of eliminations there. That's that's a good chunk of points for them. On top of all the loot and the refresh and the mats, yeah, they're feeling good. Here we are with Dark Shadow, VL Cooper, Anonymous, making their way in from zone. Man, 14 players in a zone this big, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. We're going to be here a while. It's going to be a lot of rotates. A lot of walking. So let's let the storm do its thing. Let these players loot up. Let's get a crazy end game. Let's get a really nice end game here. Inside as a solo. Easton falls a little too far. Gets knocked by the by the fall damage. We'll see if that was an accident or if that was another player breaking their builds. And Easton makes their way to the reboot van. Not a solo for much longer. Ashtag and Killer Black Belt are going to be back in this. Let's just stick around to see if they're able to complete. Yep, they're able to finish off the reboot. Their buddies are back in. They're dropping in right now. They're going to need some loot. Luckily for them, Ans Inside's got some amazing loot. If they're looking to share. Oh, look at that separation between the team there. Anonymous 
doing some recon and scouting out. While Dark Shadow and VL Cooper keep the high ground, look for any players rotating in. Their eyes up high. Head on a swivel right now for Dark Shadow, Anonymous, and VL Cooper. And honestly, everybody right now. With so much space left on the map, you know, you gotta you gotta be checking everything. You gotta check you gotta check all the sight lines. They could be from anywhere, they could come from anywhere. Man, these teams are going to be absolutely kitted out in these final circles. Oh, look at this. Zane, Zane, what are you on? How are you so high up? But it doesn't matter how far they are. They're still landing those shots. With that legendary assault rifle right there. May May finishing it off. Let's see if I can transfer over to May May. Or at least on the ground here so you can get a little better picture. And was that just a solo? Where's the rest of the team? Did they rotate out of here maybe? Easton gets knocked by a fall again from the exact same height as well. Both times that Easton has gotten knocked by fall damage, it's been from 25 meters. So are they just falling from the same spot? There's some sniper shots going off somewhere in the distance. Here we've got Snipesy and Pancake Ninja on the edge of Storm. Unfortunately, their buddy <laughs> Easton going down again from 25 meters. I think that might be a glitch there. It's kind of funny that we got that same match just three times. I doubt that they fell from fall damage 25 from 25 meters three times in a row. Taking out the wolf there. Just don't want to deal with it. Lots of ammunition here. Lots of materials. They've got the bandage cannon. They've got the boogie bomb. Love, love, love the boogie bomb. Everyone's just keeping an eye out. Looking for the new players. Oh, there. enemy spotted. And you got, actually got you got two teams duking it out right there. Looks like VL Cooper looking for the shot. Oh, is there is there gonna be a third? Yep. Nice shot right there. Takes out the shields, knocks him from 230 meters. That's why. You got to build up. You got to build those walls up. Give yourself some cover. And you always got to be moving. You always got to move just a little bit. Even if you're just like crouching up and down to like keep your head from getting headshot. That's why you always got to be moving around just a little bit. Inside, hashtag and killer black belt. Making their way through. Looks like they were still they were able to pick up some loot here. Yeah, okay, they're they're fairly they're like decently kitted out. They're, they'll be they'll be just fine. We got Dark Shadow. Anonymous and VL Cooper. Still hanging out here in this spot. They like where they, they like where they're at. Hashtag again. There they are still rotating in. They see some bills in the distance. Something to be aware of. Something to look out for. 14 players left. And that's Ashtag and their buddies. Rocking the uh, the new Cypher PK skin. And they're yeah, they're 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 their backs up against the wall. In this case, the wall is the storm. Everyone's just looking for that opening snipe shot. Zane, Austin, and May May have the advantage here in that they don't have to move. They've got they're, they're where they need to be. But Ashtag and the rest, 
they're gonna have to move they have to leave there i mean that's a that's not a good position for them they can't defend that spot if they just keep shooting they'll eventually go down and oh my goodness 29 white right there someone's super low on hp and they're gonna start healing up right now they're just looking waiting for a peek they're gonna play this patient they don't mind hey yeah use your heals we don't mind it's okay we'll wait here it's not like you you can't go anywhere Second you start moving, we're going to start shooting again. We don't have to push on you. As they make their way towards some tree cover here, Ashtag gets knocked by Mei Mei. And now stuck in zone, taking damage. Killer Black Belt gets knocked. Only one left for the trio. Stuck in Storm. May May finishes it off, gets the Elim. They're keeping their eye open. There should still be one other player there. There might be enough heal items on the ground that they can keep themselves up for a bit. No movement there. Did they get out of there? Did they escape? Or are they just healing up? Here we are with Pancake Ninja. <laughs> Immediately finds V Seal Cooper. Beautiful shotgun shot takes him out. Pancake Ninja mantling up to high ground. Seeing if they can't get a, a cheeky little drop down shotgun shot. Pancake Ninja. In danger. Other enemies nearby. And my goodness, the rotations, the 360 degree movements are happening so quickly. Trying to figure out where the position of the other player is. But looks like Snipesy's got eyes on them. As North Austin going down. Snipesy getting some really nice tags here. Oh, those are these are just AI. Awkward's Anonymous and Benji the Fragger all chromed up. And we got a Shifty Shafts end game, which is fun because Shifty Shafts has this open uh open above ground area and then there's the mines underneath. Snipesy takes out Mei Mei. That's a big pickup. And Benji takes out Zane. Mei Mei and Zane down and out. Let's see who's still in this. We've still got Anonymous and Dark Shadow. We've got Benji the Fragger, Awkwards, and Anonymous still has a full trio. Although it looks like they're being focused on right now. And they've taken the absolute high ground. There's another team here contesting just a little bit here on the mid. It looks like they're going to keep this tension here while they heal up, while they wait for Storm to push people in. Three seconds and then it all pops off. Chrome Assault Rifle putting in some work. That Chrome Assault Rifle is legendary tier right now, so that means they must have gotten, done quite a bit of damage throughout the course of the match in order to get it to legendary. Oh, beautiful. Gets the knock. That's going to be a big opening. Yep, with that, they were able to take out the duo left inside. They're going to pick up the bandage cannon as a reward for their efforts. Man, that was so much damage out of that legendary chrome, uh, chrome assault rifle.
We got Dark Shadow and Anonymous against the Chrome Trio. They use the grenade to impulse out of there. Dark Shadow goes the wrong direction. Five HP to Anonymous' name. Close it out. Well done. Awkward's Ben to the Fragger and Anonymous. You guys are the game one winners or round one winners for Group B Gold. You guys played amazing. You guys made good use of your positioning and of those chrome weapons. Big W's in the chat. Fortnite. WWW. You have absolutely well played. Well played to all the players in today's uh and this round right here. Keep it right here. We'll be, be right back with round two of Group B Gold Fortnite. If you see any awesome, amazing moments, make sure to use the clip feature here on Twitch. And we'll be going through and grabbing those clips for the clip highlights, just like you're about to watch right now. Standing. Still in sight. Down to you. He keeps it in. Dab dab dribbling in his own half. Gets the back boost. Avoids one. Under. Oh. <laughs> and doesn't actually touch the ball. I mean, he, he just let that ball float the entire way. He touches it all the way back in his own half. And kind of just follows it, follows it. I'm not gonna and oh, oh he bumps maxi out of the bump way in the like end. Rolls in. that's what it is all right oh. finish off finishes off the elimination it's their build oh not their build anymore they use the nimbus cloud to get out of there now how good's your movement sith lord they drop down with the shotgun shot 40 damage dropping down again this is really fun this is really exciting right here take some fall damage Sith Lord playing really aggressive here. They've got the bandage cannon, so they're going to be able to get themselves healed up pretty quickly here. And look at that. Last Shogun, it takes out Anonymous. Now it's a 1v1. Sith Lord carrying the torch for their trio. They have been doing it for the past, like, eight minutes. They're going to rift up on out of here, and it's Last Shogun up versus Sith Lord. Drop it in from above. Sith Lord doesn't see it. Oh, they catch him out. They're forced to go into Storm. One HP. I, I don't see it happening. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. My heart skipped a beat there, but Sith Lord closes it out. Sith Lord. Let's find a team that has to move in. Yep, here's Sith Lord. Still in it, dropping in from above 150 damage. Wow, that was good. That was really good, Sith Lord. Gosh, hate to see it, but Valkyrie are playing well. Journey falling, and Swifty both falling to this Sage player, peeking one at a time. No team play coming out there. Not good. Now Salix going for the shots on Chamber, not able to find anything. So we're left with Ghost Frosties over here on B main. At the only thing they've got going for them is not known, but there's a trick on the other side. I think they know about it. Alcworth are just over here kind of stacking. Oh, there's the Kamehameha. You've made yourself a big target, though. And you're going to get down for it. Looks like they don't want to. Oh, no. Wow. Amazing game sense. I'm actually super impressed. I would have I would have instantly been like, ooh, shiny, free kill for me. And then gotten dunked on fall damage. But they can be happy. They can be really happy, really satisfied knowing that they played an amazing game. So well played, Lone Tree. Well played indeed. You did, you did fantastic getting it, getting this far, especially as a solo. So your team should definitely be proud, be happy of, of how they did today. Here we've got Anonymous getting plays and the last member of the Rainbow Dash squad. And they're stuck here on this Nimbus cloud. They're going to have to do a little bit of... Oh my god, beautiful movement on the Nimbus, avoiding lots of damage. They try to duck down under the deck, but a little bit of awkward hitboxes stops them from getting through the door, and Jimmy is able to take advantage of it and get the last shotgun shot for the win. 
Well played, Jimmy Magic Sucks. And Austin, Austin taking the W, getting the victory out here in round two of Group B Silver. All right, well played, well played. Up next, maybe Zan can capitalize on that. I don't think so, though. They're super low health. Zane gets taken out. Well done, Stinks. Awkward. Now, even though they left their, their teammate alone, they don't go down without a fight. Drag another Austin play an Austin player with him and magic takes out stinks Now it's a 1v1 Zan versus magic The two kill leaders from last lobby Zan with six, uh Magic with six kills Zan with four who's gonna do it. It's the 1v1 and magic comes out on top today with the shotgun shot well done magic bringing your team to two victory royales in today's matches GG's well played to all the Fortnite players today and well played and well done to all the coaches for developing your, these players and their talents and their skill, showing them the value of hard work. Thank you to all the fans tuning in today to cheer on your teams and your takes some early eliminations. Doesn't pull it off. Heavy activity going on around mid though. Okay, Sage pushing the lead as she's running towards mid. Oh, with a shotgun. And doesn't, doesn't clear to the right, as we just saw, and gets taken out. Defenders, though, do pull it off Defenders and are able to take out the Madison player as Lone Tree takes the 13th match. Race falls back. Far on Uh-oh. Finds two. Thankfully, Sky able to get one off of that, but that's two, one for two. All right, welcome back. Here we are with round two. This is the final match of the day for Group B Gold round two. We got Awkward's Benji the Fragger and Anonymous bullying, bullying this poor, poor shark off the coast here. But for their efforts, getting some amazing loot. Looks like they're not quite interested yet. Maybe, they'll, maybe they're calling out for their teammate. Looks like Awkward, Benji the Fragger, and Anonymous are all we're going to have inside uh, my radius of spectatorship for the moment. So we'll be keeping it here, hanging out with Awkward, Benji, as they do their uh, loot rotation here on the south side with of uh, Synapse Station. So, I mean, this is going to be good. We'll, we'll analyze their their rotation, their, their loot path here. So right off the jump off of the uh, battle bus, they made their way over to Synapse. They go, they, they knew to go for that shark. And I think there's a vault nearby as well. So maybe they could make use of that. Picking up the bounty from the bounty board. Pretty nice right here. And getting all the loot. Getting their medals up. Let me look at that. 400 medal already. Yep, just breaking everything. Getting all the materials. Let's see what kind of loadout they're running. They're running... Assault rifle, shotgun, and then two heals. I know, I know right now what most people run is assault rifle, shotgun, or maybe shotgun SMG, and then three heals. Or like three utilities. Healer Black Belt with the knock on PC night on uh, Hangover 19. Ashtag takes out Hanover 17. 
believe Ashtag and Killer Black Belt are duos. You know, while we're watching this loop loop path and watching them go through and, and, and get their loot, let's take a look at the leaderboard from last round. I have that pulled up and ready to go now. And let's take a look. Wrong full screen. There we go. All right, in first place, we have Benji the Fragger, Awkwards, and Zank and Tarp with nine kills. In second place, we have Dark Shadow, VL Cooper, and Unseen Coast with three kills. In third place, we have Easton, Pancake Ninja, and Snipe Z with five kills. In fourth place, we have May May, Zane, and Austin one, and North Austin one with three kills. And in fifth place, we have Killer Black Belt and Ashtag and Inside with four kills. In sixth place, as a solo, we have Superstar. So well done, Superstar, getting sixth place as a solo. Seventh place, we have Tree Coco, Peaches, and Bash with three kills. In eighth place, we have Hanover 19, A Switch, and T Vlogs. No, uh, just A Switch and Hanover in eighth place, playing as a duo with two kills. In ninth place, we have T Vlogs, Clicks, and Braywit with no kills. In tenth place, we have a duo, Falls Church 7, and Stinks with one kill. In eleventh place, we have Vaxify, Ranto, and Avericks with no kills and in 12th place we have gaming tiger imagine and warfish with no kills and that's our leaderboard update for round one there we go all right we're still hanging out with awkwards benji the fragger and, and their anonymous buddy I mentioned it uh, during the silver side, but I think we have a lot of new viewers checking in for gold. So I'll talk about some of the updates to Fortnite here. The big update to Fortnite, they switched over to chapter four. And the big update is they have introduced the uh, a new mechanic called Chrome. And what Chrome does, it comes in a couple different forms, but basically uh, if something is Chrome, it is more resistant to damage and has the ability to do more damage or, or rather grow to do more damage so what chrome does is there are chrome splash jars all over the map and if you splash yourself with some chrome you yourself will become chrome and once you're chrome you get additional movement you get uh, a little bit of a damage resist resistance so you, you take less damage and you get the ability to phase through walls, but phasing through walls takes a little bit of time and make leaves you vulnerable. So it's definitely useful, but more situational than anything. Uh, other Chrome additions are uh, the addition of Chrome weapons, such as Chrome shotguns and Chrome assault rifles. Uh, these weapons, uh, as players do mo more damage with those weapons, these weapons will upgrade themselves all the way from uh, um, green all the way to yellow so from uncommon to to legendary balance update uh, chrome splash can also be used on builds so if you're in a one by one box you can use some chrome splash to make your build chrome and give it a little bit of extra health uh, other chrome other big additions in this update uh, are other big things in this update are the shotguns have been considerably nerfed but as you can see still being used still have their place in the game in the meta as the close-up one-shot tool we're getting up close and personal and here we go just taking out some npcs a lot of action happening here in the kill feed it looks like snipesy wherever they are in this map we're going absolutely nuts with their team 23 players remain out of the 34 that have started, so already 10 players out. And here they are, moving their way into Rocky Reels. Looks like another team has already been there first, because there's lots of loot on the ground. Or maybe that's just my eyes deceiving me and mixing up some clutter for some eyes for some uh, for some loot. Let's 
here we are exposing <laughs> their entire loop path. It started off here uh, at Synapse Station, rotated up right into this area here, and now they're going for Rocky Reels with Zone going nicely towards center here. Let's see. I hope we get Herald Sanctum. That'll be fun. That'll be interesting. Get get a little close to the Chrome Tornado. Get a little close to the Chrome Zone. Peaches gets the knocks on the pancake. A lot of food names. Peaches gets the knock on the Easton. Easton made it pretty far last round. Tree Coco finally gets taken out. Tree Coco, actually a third party, gets both Easton and Pancake. And there we go. We're finally able. We're able to check out some other people. See what they're up to. And we've got Shay, got Angles, and TikTok Clue. Looks like they've got eyes on somebody. Oh, nice shotgun shot! Immediately, they're. It's like their shotgun just magneted, boop, snaps to their head. Beautiful shot, Clue. Beautiful. Snipesy, going, still doing what they're doing. Looks like they found themselves 190. What? 190 with what? what? With one shot? From a shotgun? Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got whiplash. That's nuts. Awkwards gets knocked out. Ashag gets knocked. Let's see here. Looks like they're getting uh looks like they're getting cleaned up here. Benji the Fragrant Awkward just came out on top, though. I'm checking with Clue here. Rocking the Red Riding Hood skin. Look at that loot. They're checking out, they're checking out the spray pattern there. They think they like it. No, they don't like it. You know what? I'll, I'll stick with the assault rifle. I don't like the recoil on it. I don't like the spray pattern. Let me just, let me just stick with this. And look at that. Yeah, they've got the loadout that I was talking about. Two weapons and then three utility items. So they've got two really good weapons, shotgun, and then they considered going for the SMG, but they felt more comfortable with the assault rifle. Snipesy takes out Peaches. Here we are with Warfish and Imagine fighting for their life here. As they've got lots of attention and bullets coming their way. Warfish and and, uh, and their buddy Imagine playing it slow. Although Imagine gets taken out there. Tossing out the boogie bomb. Getting built on from above. Boogie bomb gets yeeted past them as Awkwards picks up the elimination here. Here we go. Anonymous seems to have found another player. Man, these, uh, these chrome weapons sound a lot like Star Wars blasters. I don't know if that's just me. Here we are with Zane from uh, North Austin and May May. Zane and May May did really, really well last round. Here we are with the 11 players left. Zane and May May, a duo. We've got clicks all alone. No, no other teammates left up. Just them. Oh my goodness! The bush tactics work and get clicks a nice point there. Well done. Well done picking up the limb there. But now your position has been given away. Although it seems like people don't want to come in and aggress on you. They may not know how many people are there, so that you know. Don't want to mess with it. The legendary DMR here. Oh my goodness. Blink and you miss it. Benji takes out clicks. Swaps it. Uh, changes out for their sniper rifle instead.
look at this beautiful movement beautiful building from benji here as a player in the bushes gonna be a little spooked here lots of incoming fire for benji the fragger so this is may may and zane this uh i believe this is the north austin squad and they're making their way towards zone they're not gonna fight there beautiful shot 130 meters front straight to the head gets an immediate knock and now they're gonna try and uh, break the builds out from underneath they succeed in doing so and now that they think they have the advantage they're gonna go ahead and push in here goes may may looks like they're having some second thoughts here they don't want to push in they want to play a little slower it's just Benji the Fragger up right now, but I think there's another player that wants to capitalize on this, that wants to get the third party. Benji's got the tools. Gets the knock, gets the first knock. Can they get the second one? 36 HP, 26 HP. Those chug splashes doing a lot of work right now. Benji's doing a lot with a little. Scary moment as they run into zone. They're building up just to keep themselves safe while they move in. Zane takes out Peaches. Looks like Peaches got to be in there. Yep, Peaches gets gets eliminated there by Mei Mei. And Mei Mei takes over the build. Quick edit technology there. Whoa, look at the skill. Zane coming in from the other side. And now it's shotgun, shotgun on shotgun action as Zane and May May start and don't let up with the relentless shotgun barrage taking out Tree Coco. Tree Coco, well done, making it to the top 10. GG's, GG's, Tree Coco and uh, Peaches. You guys played well. Now a build battle here as May May is trying to get high ground advantage here. Lots of uh, lots of uh, running around each other, running in circles, trying to get the optimal position on the other. Shay takes out Benji, and so that's going to be it for that for that team there going out in fifth position on this map. But well done, well played, Benji. Awkward and their anonymous friend did really really well. As we're watching the build battle here, only four players left. Breaks the build out, immediately swaps to the shotgun, gets a nice 35 damage. Sometimes the shotguns don't work out. And look at this edit play right here. Really, really solid. And Mei Mei shifting their attention. Going for the opponent on the low ground now. May May, nine shields, 100 HP. They're whipping out the pizza. They're going to get their grub on. A lot of fighting. No one died. Four players left. We've got one duo and two solos. We've got Shay got angles. And we've got Bash still in this. Still getting lots of pressure put on them. Seems like they're the ones being hunted by by the duo right now. The duo and Mei Mei and Zane. And Shay now on the wrong side of a double assault rifle barrage. Not in zone either. Storm's going to push them out here. Looks like they're trying to position themselves to be able to pick up that kill. Zane just waiting patiently. They just want to get the easy shot as it comes in. Quick little bush check. May May watching in. They have to push into them. And let's see how Shay is going to handle tunneling into here. They got lots of materials, so they don't have to worry too much about that. 
But even though Bash and Shay aren't on a team, they're going to have to work together a little bit on this one if they're both going to rotate in here and contest this duo. Looks like they kind of implicitly understand, okay, we've got an agreement here. We got it. We got to work. We got to work to finish off this duo, right? Right? But agreements like that are tenuous at best. As they're kind of running around, just trying to figure out where is the other. Shay and Bash both successfully rotate in. Zane and Mei Mei still got a good position here. But as they run into the build, they're going to get caught out there. Take a nice chunk of damage. Zane and Mei Mei together now. Getting in Shay's business. There's that bash. Bash coming back in. Wants to finish him off. They were looking the other way. Bash takes out Mei Mei. They want to finish it off. They want the points. A little confusion in the bushes. And who, who ends up taking it? Oh, it's Zane. Zane for the win. Gets it in the end. A little confusion there in the bushes as everyone was obscured. And Bash just desperately trying to finish it off to get that last point, even if they can't get the win. Well played, everybody. That was a nice end game there. We got to see a lot of fun strategic gameplay. GG's. Well played. Well played to all of the XP League teams today in, for in today's Fortnite matches. GG's. Let's go Hydras. Oh, so that was the Hydras. GG's to the Hydras. Well played. I want to thank all the players here for playing their hearts out today. I want to play. I want to thank the coaches for developing their players as people and as players. Um, these players have gotten so, so insanely good. Not even over the course of just this season, but over the course of many seasons, our coaches have done such an incredible job uh, fostering these players and their, and their, uh, and their efforts and funneling them into productive, productive skills, such as being able to build and tunnel like a pro, but also being able to communicate with their team, being able to take on uh, uh, setbacks and be resilient and play, play hard with their full, full emotional tanks. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to the fans for tuning in today. Thank you to all the families for supporting your players and their passion in esports. We'll be back next Saturday with more Fortnite action. So if you want to catch that when we go live, go ahead and follow us here on twitch.tv slash XP League and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com at uh, XP League HQ. We'll be uploading the recording of today's live stream. So if you want to go back and see any of the moments from today's games, go ahead and check us out on YouTube uh, for that VOD. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Don't forget to follow and subscribe and uh, check in next week for Group A's matches. Next week, we'll be streaming Group A's matches. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week with more Fortnite action.